This is an NBC News special report. Welcome to this NBC News special report. The Vatican has just released a written statement which says basically that the Pope's condition remains very serious. He's developed a high fever, but he continues to respond correctly when addressed by members of his household staff. NBC's Matt Lauer joins us now from Vatican City. Matt, we're all waiting and wondering when we'll get the next update, and it's been pretty much a waiting game in terms of more information coming from the Vatican, but this most recent information at least gives us some indication of the Pope's uh, condition, which continues to deteriorate. Yeah, it seems, I mean, if you compare this to the, the update we got early this morning, New York time, it seems they're saying things are a little bit worse. Again, extremely grave, very serious, but they do talk about this high fever that the Pope developed this morning. However, they say he still responds correctly when addressed by, by his close aides. And, and Katie, I want to mention, as you, as you look at a picture of St. Peter's Square, and as we've been talking about the crowds gathered here all afternoon, there was just a huge cheer that went out just a few seconds ago. There's been some singing and chanting and cheering throughout the afternoon, but just a huge cheer a few seconds ago. And, and, and I would have to assume that perhaps this word is now circulating among the some 250,000 pilgrims who've come to St. Peter's on this afternoon. You were just looking at a, at a tight shot of the, of the Pope's personal residence on the top floor of that building, the Apostolic Palace. The, uh, the windows you're looking at, just to fill you in as we push in, the window that is now on the right is his personal study. The window where is on the left, that is the, the Pope's bedroom. As you can see, the lights are on in there, a vigil underway. And again, you've read the statement, Katie, very serious, extremely grave. However, responding correctly when addressed by his staff and friends. Katie, back to you. Okay, Matt, thank you so much. We're gonna turn now to NBC Chief Science Correspondent Robert Bazell, who could possibly give us some insight into what may be happening to Pope John Paul II medically. Bob, as far as you know, is uh, developing a high fever consistent with sort of a, a deteriora deteriorating medical condition? Yes, uh, Katie, we know that he had uh, body sepsis, which means he's had a massive infection throughout his body that is shutting down all his organs. This is, this is definitely the end of life in it coming on, although we've seen over many, many years that this is one tough guy, and he is definitely hanging in there to the end. This business of responding to his age is very important because because the Vatican does not have a, a a plan for what happens if he were to go into a permanent coma. I, many doctors I've talked to say it's very unlikely that he'll go into a permanent coma. He's so sick that he's probably only going to live for a few more hours or a day at most. But again, that speculation, he is hanging in there, but there is uh, almost no hope for recovery. Katie? All right, Bob Bazell. Bob, thank you so much for that update. Now let's go back to Matt Lauer in Vatican City. Matt? All right, Katie, and I'm joined by Campbell Brown here, and uh, you heard the, the cheers go out in St. Pat in St. Peter's, as I did, and, and you know Bob Bazell is just saying there's no hope for recovery now. However, you know we've been we've been kind of writing the final chapter of this story for 48 hours now, or perhaps longer, and and the Pope is going to be the one who has the last word. But that is such a part of what his teachings were in the church, and what he talked about all along believing so strongly in life that you can see that reflected in, in the strength he's showing at the end. And many people that we've talked to, all of those people who gathered down in the square, we spent some time with them this morning, reflected on that. What an inspiration it is, especially to people who are... ...of Parkinson's was unable to hang on. Indeed, Brian.